In this tutorial, we will make this. Let's find out how. First, let's open up the Procreate app. We are going to go to the top right corner and click this plus sign. This is to create a new document or file. I'm going to select screen size, but it's okay if you choose another. The new file then opens. If yours is in portrait mode, simply pinch with two fingers and rotate. Next we are going to click the actions tool, which is the wrench icon in the top left corner. Then select canvas. Toggle animation assist on. You will get this long window area appear at the bottom. We are now set to start. If this is your first time using Procreate, let me show you how to quickly orient the app and change some things. On mine you see this green circle at the top right corner. This is your pen color. When you press it, a color wheel will open. I will change mine to black. Just press it again to close. Up at the top here, you can also see the pen tool. If I draw, you see my pen line is very thin. I can increase the size using the top slider on the left. Now you see the pen line is much thicker. To undo a step, simply click this back arrow. If we click on the pen icon, a whole series of different pens and brushes are available. For this tutorial, I'm going into inking and selecting the technical pen. Underneath the brush size slider is the opacity slider. This affects the transparency of your line. I'm going to leave mine all the way up. I then use the back or undo button to erase. One thing to remember with the Apple Pencil is that it is pressure sensitive. If I press lightly, the lines are thin. If I press hard, the lines are thicker. So let's now start creating the squiggle animated letters. Simply write out your name. I'm going to keep mine simple, just to learn these steps. I will write out Bob. When done, click Add Frame on the right in this bottom window. You see when I click it, a new paper is added. Basically this works the same as stop motion animation where 12 frames equals 1 second. Every time a new frame is created, we can see the previous frame but it is faint. This is called onion skinning. It's like how animators used to trace previous drawings when making animated cartoons. Now I'm just going to trace over it. It doesn't have to be perfect because our imperfections is what is going to cause the writing to vibrate. Once I finish the second one, I'm going to repeat these steps several more times. I will speed up the video, but I repeat this step 8 times. If you want to see how it is looking, feel free to press the play button here on the left. When you do this, it will keep looping it over and over until you press pause. Feel free to add more frames if you feel it needs it or if you want it longer. Once done, go to the actions button or the wrench tool. Select the Share icon and scroll down to select Animated MP4. This will save it as a movie file, but it will probably be very short. You can use the slider to adjust the frames per second, but I'm going to leave mine the way it is. Then click the orange Export button. It will export and then a window will open. You can select Save the Video if you scroll down, but I'm going to airdrop mine to my laptop. Now let me go back and show you something else. When exporting, you can also export it as an animated GIF or animated GIF, however you decide to pronounce it. I will then toggle Transparent Background On. This is useful because if I were to make a video, I could then place this animated text to appear over my video footage. And that will be in my next video. I will link this on a card that will appear now at the top, and I will link it in the description below. Good luck with yours. This has been a Boo Video Production. Boo